What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we're checking out a game called Rogue Empire. Another roguelike. You guys know that I love roguelikes. I'm a big fan of the genre out here. Especially ones that are more modeled towards the old school roguelikes. Stuff like Powder, Stone Crawl, or uh, Stone Soup, and you know, all those guys. All of those older titles. Things like Neo Scavenger that are really, really punishing. Really brutal, but at the same time very, very satisfying to play. Well, today we're going to start our Rogue Empire. So let's play the new game. And we will go with Dawn of Shadows. Why not? That sounds like fun. Got to choose our gender. I suppose I'll be a dude. I make my own luck. We'll play on the normal difficulty. We'll play on... Let's see, in story mode, when dying you respawn. Eh, let's not do that. That's whack. I don't want to respawn. I want permadeath. I believe in permadeath. Alright, so we got to pick our race. Obviously, there's only one right choice here. Although they do have trolls, which is really, really tempting. So we've got dwarves and we've got trolls. Let's see here. Plus seven starting strength and constitution, but you lose perception and intelligence. We get lots of health. We regenerate like super fast. Uh, let's go with a dwarf. Sure, why not? And then as far as our dwarves class goes, we can go with a warrior, a hunter, an assassin, a druid, or a mage. Let's go with a warrior. That sounds good. My character's name will be Baldric. That's a good, strong, dwarfish name. That's a dwarfish name right there. All right. It was yesterday that the Herald brought yet again the plea for help, this time with news that the human capital city of Tandor has been encased in a shadow barrier. You were about to do as you always do and ignore the plea, but something changed today in the morning. Something subtle and mystical made you change your mind. No, something made you feel terrified of staying. You better grab your gear and head to the town of Aronsal to the west. Maybe there you can get some answers. Alright. Cool. So, it looks like we can wander around like so. Okay, looks good. There's a door right there. Can I zoom out a little bit? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got a steel buckler and a steel hand axe. That sounds super rad. So let's bring this guy over. Yeah, that's what I'm... Did I just drop it? I just dropped it, didn't I? I knew it. I knowed it. I wanted to right-click in order to auto-equip it. So, one-handed weapons. We got a steel axe right here. I don't know. Maybe put it in my hand. That looks good. Apparently, we got it in our hand. I've also got a buckler. Let's put that in our other hand. So, apparently, our right hand, we've got an axe. Cool. Oh, nice. So, sweet. It's all up in my inventory right now. Let's go outside and see what's cracking out here. I don't know what that is. Looks like a waystone. We can deal damage to these things over here to maybe get some extra goodies. Nothing so far. Anything else around here? Alright, well, I guess we'll just travel then. Some gold on this side. I'm kind of getting like a tome vibe from this game almost. Like a little bit of Tales of Majayal, which, by the way, if you've never played Tales of Majayal before, you're messing up. It is the stuff. Did we get attacked by a bear? You better kill that thing. Yeah, take that bear out. Oh, what is that? It sounds like... Do Ow! We got doggos. Oh my god, there are so many bad guys over here. I don't like what's happening. This is not looking good for me. Use a health potion, highlight it on the action button. I don't know if we need the health potion right now. Like, what if we don't require it? Oh, I'm bleeding. Okay, we're gonna require it. We're gonna definitely require it. Let's kill that little dude off and make sure he doesn't keep throwing stuff at us. We got another steel buckler, 30 gold coins, and 10 more gold coins. So if you've never played Tales of Majayal before, you should definitely go play Tales of Majayal. It is probably the best roguelike ever made. And it kind of hybridizes like Diablo 2 with roguelike. And it's very, very good. I highly recommend it. It's a very good game. So do I like level up from this or anything? It's a valid question. Ow, snake. No, get out of here, snake. What are you? A gnome thief? Why are there so many gnome thieves around our territory? Oh my goodness, there are so many bad guys around. All right, let's wipe him out real fast. Maybe I should take it a little slower. It seems like bad things are happening to me. A potion of elemental resistance. I don't know how badly I want to resist, but let me kill another snake or two. Why not? We'll murder a snake or three on our way through the dungeon. What's down this way? Can I break that log? No. Alright. Anything over here? 
Do we have like a map or anything else like that that I can use? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Might be something down to the south, but honestly, it's probably nothing that we want like right this second. You are healthy. This might change positively if you eat properly or negatively if you don't. Your current satiation is 68%. Do I have any food around? I've got medium rations. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat that. Damn it. Damn it. Maybe... There we go. That's what I'm talking about. How sated am I now? Nice. I'm at 87%. We got a nice little fatty boy stomach on our dwarf. I'm going to grab that, and we'll wipe that dude out. This dude's throwing sling stones at me. Per usual. This seems to be my life. Apparently, he was adjacent, and I just didn't realize it. I think the squares are larger than I expected. So apparently we have now leveled up. We've hit level two. Choose a contemplation bonus to enhance your character. So we can contemplate about the time we used our intelligence to beat a dangerous foe. We can go with perception or agility. What does this stuff do? Let's find out. So strength is obviously going to be our melee hit chance and damage. Constitution is going to be our health plus the amount we gain on a level up. It also affects our carrying capacity. Agility is our dodge chance, range hit chance, and magic crit chance. Okay. Perception influences our line of sight, crit damage, if any, crit chance, and dodge chance. So that might be useful for a melee warrior. And I think intelligence and whatnot, we're probably just going to ignore. So our strength has gone up on its own, our mana points have gone up, and our hit points have gone up. I guess we'll probably go for agility? Like, I don't know. So we've got our talent deck. So we've got a pick and ability. Cards are randomly shuffled and weighted by rarity. Okay. So we've got trap prepared armor. You know how to build your armor to resist some of the effects of traps. Okay. Studies the target. Any attack against the target applies minus one strength and minus one agility. We've got demoralizing cry that reduces their energy. I'll take that one for right now. It seems all right. I don't know if I need to equip that or not. Or if that's going to be important. Like, do I just have that? Is it like a passive? It looks like it's a passive. Okay. Sounds good. We got another nasty little bushel beast over here. We'll go ahead and whack him and get rid of him. It's time for us to do some weeding. Dude, did you just pull me in scorpion style? A gold door key and 33 wooden arrows. Okay. Man, he can pull you in from a long ways away. He's not playing around. This definitely gives me Tales of Magi all vibes with how fast-paced it is. We've got a Potion of Constitution. We'll play around with that. And Ooh, heal, heal Potion. Hold on, let me have that. What does that do? Prepared bonus. Weighted in place for one turn, resulting in an 80% bonus to physical damage done. Really? Okay. I should probably get a bow or something that I can use, too. That takes us to Ethistos. Do I want to go to a Thistos right now? What is a Thistos? I feel like I'm missing out on valuable knowledge from the universe. A potion of spell power. Okay. What is that? Like a wand? A wand of summon beasties. Might be kind of a cool thing to play. What is... Oh, there's gold over here? Hold on. Let me get the gold. There we go. Let me have that. That's important to me. I am a dwarf after all. We can't just like leave gold out and about and not bring it with us. Here, go to the west, and I guess you can attack that. I don't really care, but I feel like maybe there's something over here that we've missed. Or maybe not. Where does that take us? I guess we'll go to Athistos. Off we go to the world map. Da -na -na. All right, so welcome to the world map. Based on your character stats, you can explore while moving. Exploring can fire up events. Energy spent moving depends on the location type and how much it is explored. Ambush is a thing. Be careful. Okay. What is this dungeon right here? What is this? Let's go in there. Let's find out. So we got some bone piles, some random books laying around, a couple of gold coins out and about, some free wooden bolts. We'll definitely take those. Hey, I need you guys to understand something here. You need to die. A leather belt. What does a leather belt do for me? Let's take a look. So that gives me, like, what, 2% body coverage and a bunch of armor points. Okay. Is that steel buckler better than the steel buckler that I have right now? So two damage mitigation, one block value. That wasn't really what I wanted, but... Let's 
going on in here? Ah, more bears that apparently inexplicably like to hang out with Rottweilers. Gotcha. I mean, I guess they became friends at a young age. Like, the backstory here is that, like, maybe they were raised on the same land thinking they were enemies for a while. But then at the same time, like, the master of the dog died. And then they found that maybe the boundaries that they live by are perhaps not quite so important after all. Oh, there was rats inside the barrel. Okay. Well, XP's XP. We're sitting at 356 out of 419 right now. A little bear action right there. What is this thing? A rune offering. I don't think I have any runes. I'm pretty sure I don't have any of those right now. So, like, whatever. I guess we'll continue forward. Hey, listen, listen. Ow, gnome! How are you going to double hit me like that, you douchebag? Ooh, a steel scimitar. 1 plus 2d3 slashing damage. That's 2 plus 2d4. So we can go 3 to 6 or we can go 3 to 7. Yeah, let's do a scimitar for a little bit. We also have cloth gloves that give plus 5 to perception. I'll put those on. Why not? Might as well. Anybody else around here causing problems? Want to get live with their boy Splatty? Yeah, that full seven. Ow, stop slinging me. Man, slangers out here causing problems. And we got a little bit more HP, so we can reflect on our survival. We can take constitution, we can get a magic ration, or we can get fate. What does fate do? I think I'm going to take the constitution. That seems like the plan. Cloth gloves and a potion of agility. Okay. I don't know if I should be drinking this stuff or not. Another leather belt right there. Ooh, what are you? A wooden ring. Wooden ring, what do you do? Nothing? I guess... Oh, you can wear rings on, like, every single finger out here, dude. You can ball out like a pimp, apparently. Hmm, where have I not been? Oh, there's another floor of the dungeon right there. Ah, good, I've been jack-o'-lanterned again. Ow, but at least I shrugged that off. That's good. Another steel hand axe right there. Doesn't look none too special or awesome. I like the fast movement speed, too. That's really, really nice. I don't like it when games force me to move, like, one single step at a time. There's a couple places we haven't been. It'd be cool if you could click on the map and he would auto-move there. Just as, like, an auto-explore type deal. You need a bronze door key, or you can try to kick it. Where's my... Yeah, give me, ooh, okay. Kick it! Apparently, we've kicked down the door. There's a barricade over the... Ow! Stop it! Your tiny little sling stones annoy me. And my dwarvish girth. Broken sword over there. Another one of these dudes. Let's kill him. We've got forest hoods and some coins. All right. There we go. Just break that thing the hell down. I mean, there's a reason we picked Dwarf Warrior after all. It's so meager things like doors can no longer stop us. Uh, we'll go down this way and over to the right, and it looks like there's areas we haven't been yet. So that's the Rune Forge thing right there that I don't know what that does. Yep, just break it down. Doesn't matter. 34 stones. I'm kind of wondering why I'm walking around with so many rocks in my pocket. But, like, as an ex-geologist, kind of makes sense, like, in a certain thematic way. I'm here trying to get my XP so that I'm leveled up for the challenges ahead. Kick that thing. Yeah. All right, so that's everywhere. We got to go back this way. And maybe... Oh, I got to loop back around. Couldn't find myself on the map. Yeah, let's go down another level. Let's see what's down here. Perfect. What are you? Ow, you hit hard. Thing hit me for five. Quelch fire and a steel short sword. Let's have a look at some of these weapons and figure out what they're doing for us. So a steel short sword does three to four damage, but it has 50% more critical hit damage. 
We've got a wooden staff, which does three to five, but increases our spell power. Yeah, just shrug that off. It doesn't matter. You can't hurt me. I'm a dwarf out here in these streets. I'm a dwarf, kid. Oh my god, what the hell is that? Is that like a magical teleport rat? I don't understand what just happened. But there was a loud whooshy noise. There's our next stairwell. A scroll of summoned beasts. Yeah, we're just gonna kick that down. That don't really matter too much to me. Doesn't really matter. Anyone can see. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter to me. Listen, man, you're dealing too much damage right now, and I need you to slow your roll. What is that, a sling? Yeah, I'll be down for a sling. Put that in my secondary slot. And then, like, maybe I got to equip the rocks in order to use it. Yeah, there we go. So how do I swap weapons? It's a valid question. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, let's maybe keep that from happening. I wasn't expecting to get jumped like that when I came around the corner. I think I'm going to keep a lot of these items so I can sell them and buy better gear when I get to town. What is that? A bronze chest key. Okay. No, I'm poisoned, but I keep shrugging it off because I am a dwarf and my constitution precludes me. Go to buy something? Uh, I guess I could sell you some things. Yeah, like you want some of these things over here? Because I got stuff, man. I'm just saying, I got to get this weight down. I'm carrying around like an entire village's worth of shit with me right now. And so like, if you want to take it, by all means, it's totally okay. We got a pickaxe, which is a tool. So you can find small treasures and also secret locations. We've got a 5 to 9 damage steel morning star. Steel longsword over there. What is that? Stretched fur armor? Yeah, I want that. Or stitched for armor. Yep. Let me let me buy that. Don't really think I need a robe. I will buy the medium ration. You will buy a pickaxe. And that looks good to me. Yeah, put on a little bit of that armor right there. There you go. That's the good stuff. Maybe eat a ration while we're chilling right here. Oh yeah, we're pretty hungry. I should probably get on top of that. There we go. That'll prop us back up yeah, for a little bit. Not. No, I don't want to buy anything. Go away, old man. Go away. I do not love the... Oh, we level up again. Hell yeah. Nice, dude. All right. Uh, so we can get two health potions plus one constitution. I'll probably take the constitution. And then we get a talent right now. We got leaping attack, anti-magic training, or study target. Increase magic resistance by 25%. Let's do it. As a warrior, I assume that magic is going to be a weak spot in my arsenal. And so I'm okay with spending a talent to raise that by 25%. Make us a tad more resistant to any flame damage or whatever that might get thrown at us. Almost got us with a spike pit right there. Oh my god. It's a panther. Why is there such a... Was there like a zoo down here in this dungeon? Like, why is there such a weird motley assortment of gnomes and animals down here? There's got to be like a gnomish zoo or something that just went wrong. Like somebody forgot to lock the cages or something. Ow. Oh, what's up, man? I didn't see you in here. Did you respawn? I mean, I'll kill you just fine. I don't mind. The only place we haven't gone is down to the south over here. What does that mean? The magician merchant has appeared on this level. Hurry before he teleports away. Oh, we already did that. We're already good there. Did you just attack me through a fence? Man, you sly little bastard. Alright, so I don't remember... If this was the stairwell up here, it was. What was this way? Ah, a plant that wants to suck me down into its mouth. Gotcha. What is that? Steel shoulder plates? Dude, hell yeah. 
Yeah, you might as well throw them on, man. Anything that protects us a little better. Ew, what is that? Gross. Weird little puddle boy down here. Get out of here, puddle boys. I got time for you. I ain't got time for a cuddle, you puddle. That was another stairwell right there, too. Okay, another rune forge over here, even though I don't think I have runes to make that work. Kill him off. I thought that was a laser sword for a minute, but it's a potion. Oh, Christ. Well, this doesn't look good. Yeah, maybe fall back. Just gotta, like, land some hits over here. Perfect. Oh, weak. I got a little overly aggressive and I paid for it. Skip the leaderboards. I am ashamed. It's true. I am ashamed. He was kind of like soft chinned for a dwarf. I thought that he'd be able to take a little bit more damage. So unfortunately, the game has shown that it is a true roguelike and it will sit your ass down if you get a little overly aggressive. My name is Splattergat. Thank you for joining me for Rogue Empire. I would uh, love it if you would check the game out down below. Help the developers out. Make sure that cool roguelikes continue to get made. If you don't know who I am, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so that you don't have to. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, dude. Take care, everybody. And as always, I will have something fresh for you tomorrow.